Hi, I'm Jürgen. I'm going to show you how I I try to make a PDF form, uh, a fillable PDF, PDF form, in using a LibreOffice writer. This isn't something that's not possible, as far as I know, using uh, Microsoft Office. It is possible using OpenOffice too, but I kind of prefer the LibreOffice uh, interface, so I I choose this one for uh, my priority. Um, for st so I'm gonna say for mockups, I'm just gonna make a small form to check your name and ask what's your favorite ice cream and if you prefer toppings or not. Okay, so it's really easy. So I'm gonna create the form. Just to type a name. Um, here I'm gonna put my favorite favorite ice cream. Then a little further, I'm gonna do a small uh, query in a table form, so I'm going to insert a table and this table with six columns, two rows, so I actually I'll take three okay so I'm going to narrow this down just ignore the, what, what popped up just a little time ago this is from my previous session um, I'm going to make a small form. Here I'm going to have some bullets, uh, columns, space equally. So here I was great. Okay, so so. Not okay, bad. And Okay, so this is my uh, how was the food? How was the service? Okay. And uh, did you take uh, hazelnut? toppings okay so this is going to be what I ask in my form first question for, so first I'm, I'm to turn this into a form I'm going to add the view the toolbar called form navigation where are you view toolbar ah it's here it popped it, 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 it popped out here. Okay, so now this is uh, the important button. This the design mode must be on. And I'm also gonna open in the view. Oh, come on. Form controls. Uh, this is the one I needed. Form controls. You also have the design mode button here. So here for I, I want to add a text box. I'm just gonna enter my name myself, so I'm just dragging it like a small rectangle. My favorite ice cream, this is gonna be a small checklist. For this, I'm gonna use the advanced feature. So I'm going to open the here the more controls item and I'm gonna take a group box and I'm gonna drag it in just here. So, and what are my available tastes? Uh, vanilla. Okay, orange. Uh, no, strawberry. I'm not finished yet. Strawberry. Chocolate. Pistachio. No, too, too difficult to type. Let's see what other tastes could we have. Bananas. I like bananas. Okay, next, you, you, you get the picture, you, you, you could put in a longer list here if you want. Do you want a default value? No, I don't want a default value. You could give these results, uh, these responses, some value if you want to store them into some database. And what type will, what will I, will I put here? What is your favorite ice cream taste? I'm going to finish it. And here you have this very nice oops, 
very nice uh, group box and for this I would like to have like a, a feedback form so I'm gonna add some option buttons here some radio buttons put one here 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 And one here. And now I'm going to change some settings. I'm going to change the form, not, not the form properties. I'm used to doing this in, in, in the Dutch version, so I, the difference or everything just a little bit different. The name, this is the name I'm going to give this answer. So this is what's question one. And it doesn't have to show anything in the label. This is also question one empty label this is also question one empty label it's also question one empty label it's also question one I leave it empty label now this is question two question two Question two. Question two. Question two again. Okay. So now I'm gonna. Is it possible to align these to the center? I'm not sure. Okay. Resize them all a little bit so it's a little bit small. Little the space around it. Usually, I do need to have. As you see, it's not very accurate, but uh, possibly someone you, you you could enter parameters. I think just. Clicking and placing would have been easy, but I don't think that's an option. Just for the sake of certainty, I'm going to verify it. I just click. No, you see, it would be a great option if we just could say, or drag it into here. No, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so now I, I have like my... Ah, yeah, one more. Do, did you take hazelnut toppings? Label field, what's okay? <laughs> like how it's placed here, so I'm gonna okay. And I could also choose for whipped cream. So this is like a basic format, it's getting somewhere, of course you, you could format it a little bit better and you could add the logo and you could, instead of this radio button box, you could also have a pull down menu list box or even a combo box where you could uh, put in your, your favorite taste yourself, well maybe just for fun of it, let's add one of these in, just to see what it looks like. This would actually uh, 
pull in data from elsewhere. Is there an option to add? No, it's only pulling in from databases. So this is not what I want. It's too complex. I think this is the same. Yep, the same. So I don't need this either. What's this? A label field. So you could add some labels instead. Checkbox a form. You could you could, could m put multiple. You could yeah. You, what's the pr form properties? You could give this form a name. You could connect it to some some database or whatever. But we're not going to do this for now. A formatted field is something that works inside. And you could have a push button to to submit it. Option buttons. We tried these out. And so we have a spin button, but these are more. F stuff you, you, you actually use it when you, when you want to add value image button I'm going to just uh, see what this gives okay just uh, With the activation order, you, you you could order the uh, automatic sort. Okay, and now I'm going to turn it into a PDF. But now comes an important part. You must make sure if you want to make a form, you certainly uh, enable this option: create PDF form. It must be clicked. And uh, yeah, I don't know what this means, FDF. But I just leave the standard export I'm gonna save this to my desktop just for now my screen um, gonna open the form okay I don't want to turn the full screen, but uh, so now I can just enter the form. So I can put my name here. I can uh, show choose my favorite uh, taste. I can't put in an image here. And here's something very annoying. So I can uh, ev everything turns into one big bunch of. Uh, items there here I can just mark them that this is great they're independent of each other and uh, but the, tr the stupid part is y you see if you go out of your design mode this actually works just r fine here it's, you see you can have the two options separately and it looks just as it should so I was expected to have the same result in my PDF form, but this isn't working. Here, once you turn this into a PDF, all these radio buttons or option buttons just turn into one bunch of options, and you can only choose one. So you can only have or good service or good food. You can't have both. Maybe it's a reality, but uh, oh, no, no, not true. That's too negative. You can have a good service and a good food. So, uh, yeah. That's just my two cents on how to make a form in LibreOffice. It works just as well in OpenOffice, uh, and it also gives the same wrong, uh, faulty result on the radio buttons in OpenOffice. So this is not something that's different. Um, but anyway, despite this, this little bug, it's still a great, a great thing to have uh, the option to create form fields that you can then save as your PDF file. And uh, yeah, this is my small tutorial on how to create a form field in uh, in LibreOffice. So the two two takeaways are: in the view, enable the form design uh, toolbar and f uh, form controls, especially. And if you export the PDF, please for don't forget to add the create PDF form button. These are my two takeaways. Remember it, and your good to go okay have a nice day and i hope to you'll be you'll be enjoying more of my podcasts in the future bye